This is Openly Hostile Opinions. With your host, Casey and Jay. What the hell? Why? Why? I can do anything I want to do. Hello, all you openly hostile listeners. We are here yet again for another episode of the Openly Hostile Opinions podcast. Yes. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, transvestites, non-military transvestites. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any more anyway. I know. That's why I said non. <laughs> yeah. So uh, in honor of our caller last week, he, he made me see the light. So I'm wearing my my uh, tinfoil flat cap today. Yes. So I hope you all enjoy my tinfoil flat cap. Jay's been viciously attacked by conspiracy theorists. <laughs> uh, I, I, I was uh, visited in my dreams by a lizard man, and uh, he revealed himself to be the president of the United States. Therefore, I, I must now protect my brainwaves. Uh, indeed. I'm wearing one, but you just can't see it. It's on my balls. I don't want him stealing my seed. <laughs> wrong, wrong head. Yeah, wrong head. <laughs> so, shall we uh, discuss our... Yes, I bought this just simply because of its name. Um, it's... How do you pronounce this? Strouts? Stouts. Stouts. They're, they're no, the, there's uh, like a D in it. It's... They're the oldest brewing co- uh, microbrewery in Pennsylvania. Did you know that? Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't even know they're from PA. It shows how much I fucking pay attention. Yeah, Adam, <laughs> Adamstown, PA. This is the oldest microbrewery in Pennsylvania. Oh. Well, it's Stouts um, Brewing Company, and it's called Four Play IPA. Mm. <laughs> so, so so is that for when you're tickling on the twatter? Yes. Tickling on the twatter uh, before you boil the water. Uh, you got to boil the water before you put your noodle in it. You got to boil the water before you tickle the twatter? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just bought this because it says foreplay on it, and I love foreplay. Got to, you know, get that boner raging. <laughs> Not me. My idea of foreplay is uh, get ready. <laughs> I'm coming Four! in hot. <laughs> I'm coming in hot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's probably going to be hoppy. I don't know if it's going to be interesting or not, but uh, let's go ahead and give it a try, shall we? Transvestites. <laughs> well. Oh, it's really hoppy. It's hoppy, but it's not It's not overly hoppy. Really? I think it's one of the hoppiest ones I've had yet so far. I don't or maybe because we haven't been really drinking IPAs lately. Do you yeah, it's good the last three weeks I bought the beer. Hey, I think we're frozen. What do you mean? I think our stream's frozen. Oh, God damn it. Let's give it a second to catch up. Jesus Christ. Hey, you guys out there in the chat, you hear us okay? <laughs> I think we're good. You think so? Yeah, it was acting up there for a second, but I don't think uh, I think it's working again. <laughs> all right, well, nobody's saying shit, so I don't know. That's all right, whatever. All right, whatever. So this is going to be a nice episode of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, well, Shane. I know you listen to it every week, but... That's the that's the thing with live streaming. It always fucking acts up when it wants to. It's like a little fucking redhead stepchild. You have to beat every once in a while. But yeah, speaking of the podcast, those of you uh, podcast listeners out there, everything should be working again. You may start to see, as I put in the old episode, the archives back, and you might start to see those pop up in there. Just, you know, you know what episode we're on. Don't, don't just ignore the old ones <laughs> or listen to them again because we're, we're almost, awesome. We're almost to a year, actually. What we got... Uh... What, like seven more episodes, and it'll be a year we've been doing this? Oh, my God, really? <laughs> For some fucking reason, we're still doing this. I don't know why. We're, we're screaming into the ether. Nobody cares. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, Jay has two kids. I have. I play too much World of Warcraft if we still find out how to do this every week. I have no idea how or why, but we ended up doing it. I don't know. But, yeah, so back to the beer. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to say this is a very crisp type of an IPA. It's very uh, drinkable, uh, well-balanced. It's not overly hoppy by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I would say it's one of the more accessible IPAs. Let's put it that way. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's really hoppy. Like, I, I don't know. It might be because we haven't had an IPA in a while. We've been drinking a lot of, like, reds. and I think it's because you're a pussy. No, fuck you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but anyways. Um, do, you, do you need your water wings there? there <laughs> yeah. I only need water wings when I'm eating soup so I don't drown in it. <laughs> um, but if I would rate this. Like I said, it's a very, very crisp IPA. If you don't like IPAs, I don't recommend it. Like I said, it is very IPA-ish. Um, I am going to give this three and a half 
out of five yeast infections on prom night. There Ew. We go. <laughs> Are you testing out the chat? Casey is a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Testing out the chat. Um, speaking of transvestites, uh, you know, we're not going to get into the whole military thing. Me and Jay have the opinion, whatever. If you want to protect our country, whatever, you know. Yeah, really. If you're going to dive in on the front, front lines, you're more of a man than I am. I don't yeah. care who. But I do want to mention something. So in Australia, uh, there is a five-year-old that just had transsexual surgery or whatever the fuck you want to call it. A five-year-old. <laughs> that seems excessive. Yeah, and that, and that's what I'm saying. First of all, do you think the parents should be in jail for this? I do. I don't know. <laughs> and I, what fucking doctor would do this? You didn't. You didn't prepare me for this. <laughs> I I don't know what to think. Well, I was watching because of all this shit with the military and the transvestites the thing. And like I said, we're not going to get into that. Me transsexuals, shit. transvestites, are just, <laughs> whatever. There's a distinction. Transvestites whatever. are dudes who get dressed. I'll, up. I'll just start labeling it. Transvestites a cross dresser. I'll just start labeling it if you don't know what gender you are. <laughs> <clears throat> but. We'll go. We'll go with transgender, so we don't piss anybody off. Oh, whatever. Fuck, fuck everyone. <laughs> That's what we're here to do. <clears throat> we're here to piss everyone the fuck off. We piss off conspiracy generally just terms. each other. <laughs> In Australia, gender flows the opposite direction, though. Right, Southern Hemisphere and all. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, never. I don't know if you've seen this, but I just watched a video where these people uh, they live on the equator, and they took a sink with a plug and they poured water in it. And they put it on each side of the equator, and the water went the opposite ways of whichever you want. And then they set it right on the equator, and the water went straight down. That's fucking weird. <laughs> is, it, is that really true, though? Is yeah, it was really... a video. Yeah, because everything on the internet's true. <laughs> Virgins. No, that is not true. I am not a virgin. I lost my virginity to Ronald McDonald. <laughs> I have children. <laughs> Speaking of that, man, I got I had an awkward situation today. What happened? I ran into an ex girlfriend. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Did you put it in reverse and run over again? <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> no, nah, but you know, yeah. I was trying to explain to my wife. I'm trying to avoid her, and she's just like following us around the grocery store, right? Oh God. One and she's not try- she's not trying to talk to us. But she's just doing the same thing that she- I'm doing. Or maybe Looking she is. I don't know. Maybe she's a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just, uh, it, it's such a weird situation when you run into an ex. It's like, uh, I used to be inside of you. I know. That's exactly what I think. <laughs> so I was just going to say that. It's every, so strange. Every time I see an ex-girlfriend, I just think of all the nasty, fucked up shit I did to her, like eat her butthole and shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and you know what? It, it's even worse when you end up with what, like the crazy ones. Man, we're getting roasted. You sad people. Well, it's even <laughs> it's even worse when you uh, <laughs> when you deal with one that you just know is fucking batshit crazy. Yeah, like like screaming into the night, fucking you know, beating your children with a wire hanger. Crazy. Is this the one that pulled a gun on your friend? Yeah, this is the one to pull a gun on Joe. <laughs> Jay has an ex-girlfriend that uh, pulled a gun on our friend Joe. Which, Not to say that he didn't deserve yeah, it. back in the day, if you knew Joe, he he's probably deserved it. <laughs> he used to always get naked for some reason every time he'd uh, he'd drink. Man, we got a troll today. Kitty fiddlers. <laughs> Kitty no, fiddlers. He, he finally went to prison. The kitty fiddler up the street finally went to prison. Yeah, he's in prison. The judge basically said, you're a threat to society. We, you know, we can't prove that you're innocent or guilty right now but as of right now you're a threat to society and they threw him in the jail it's about fucking time you know you fucking yeah. fuck a kid and admit to it and then, you know, a year later you're still walking around yeah like uh for new people joining we do have a child molester or well, he used to be here he used to live two houses up from me and his excuse was she was sitting on my lap i dropped my cell phone and my fingers fell in her <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> even that girlfriend I was talking about that was uh, all co- kinds of fucked up following me around the store today. You couldn't exactly drop anything and have it uh, <laughs> have it not touch. I know. Wall. I don't even think that would happen to a porn star, man. Like, geez, like maybe the phone would fall in her. But oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Did you ever hear? You know, you've you've all heard the uh, hot dog down a hallway or, or like opening a window and fucking the world. Yeah. The best one ever I heard was uh, my buddy Joe said she's like fucking a warm bowl of soup. <laughs> yeah, Casey said that kind of stupidly. Yeah. Uh, they, which one of you would win in a fight? Neither one of us would fight because we're both too lazy. 
Yeah. But anyway, uh, I'd be like, Jay, lick my butthole. No, nah, here, here's <laughs> <laughs> here's what happened. Uh, so the 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 guy's been walking around for a year. He's been out on bail. Um, so he continues to get stays and gets another stay and gets another stay. And uh, finally, the judge is like, this has gone on long enough. It's over. You're going to prison for now. My money would be on Casey. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> Hi, Chelsea. How are you doing? I, I would just eat Casey. There'd be no problem. Yeah, I know. I'd Jay just likes sit food. on him. I would just sit on him, fart until he passed out, and I'd eat him. Yeah. And, and I, I eat a lot, so uh, I'd probably taste like bacon. So yeah, and my and my whole thing, it would probably I, I'd make it easier for Jay to eat me because my whole thing is if I ever get into a fight, I'm just ripping off all my clothes and just trying to rub my penis all over them. <laughs> like if I was ever walking down the street and I was getting mugged by like 15 dudes, that's what I'd do. <clears throat> just get butt ass naked and Start just trying to rub yeah. your dick on them. Hey, and if it falls into a hole, whatever. <laughs> I'm fried, so I'm great. Okay then, that's good, Chelsea. You high? That's weird. That never happens. <laughs> we 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 do uh, stay a productive member of society. Here, <laughs> let's, hey. let's give her some applause, folks. <laughs> Woo! For our friend Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea's a good friend of mine. She's uh she's been cool. Uh, even though she dated a guy that looked very Jewish, uh, we called him uh, DJ Dreidel because <laughs> he he looked like a Jewish DJ. For some reason, <laughs> what per, what would make him look like a DJ? I don't know. He just looked like he always wore sweatpants, and like I just he looks like one of those guys that wear like a Beats headset all the time, <laughs> and just like I don't know. It's, I'd hit you, but I can't afford Beats. <laughs> Who cares? I actually read an article where they say Beats is like the biggest fucking scam in the world. Oh my it's, god! Yeah, it's just an equalizer. Yeah, yeah. it's whatever. Apple I, owns it, though, so whatever. <laughs> fuck Apple. Actually, that reminds me. They just announced that the guy that owns Amazon is the richest person in the world now. Jeff Bezos, yeah, yeah. he briefly overtook Bill Gates. Oh, really? Yeah, I believe Bill Gates Bill's... was still the richest man? God, he hasn't been oh, doing yeah. anything. Uh, he just earns mad fucking royalties at this point. Really? I wish, I wish I could watch this and could hear what you're saying. No, she wishes that he watched it. <laughs> DJ <laughs> Hebrew. Yeah, DJ Dreidel. Reading from right to left. <laughs> That's what I would do. Like, if I was a Jewish DJ, I'd make, like, the music backwards because it's, like, reading from right to left. You'd do that anyway because uh, you're retarded. Yeah, I know. I can't help it. Uh, like I said, I did forget my water wings and helmet today. So <laughs> I am a little retarded, I'll admit. But I don't, I don't go out in public enough to um, let people know I'm retarded. I should get social benefits for being <laughs> retarded. <laughs> You know what I really hate that reminds me? Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> I hate grammar Nazis for some reason. Do you hate grammar Nazis? Um, It depends. Uh, I mean, in general, yes. I just I just hate it online. I, like, especially when you're on, like, a forum or something like that, and you have this little fucking keyboard that you're trying to type something in, and you're trying to type, like, I don't know, half a Harry Potter book, and, like, someone reads it and picks out, like, one little mistake, and they're just like, oh, my God, and then people are, like, high-fiving each other. Like, I think that is the worst comeback ever. You when know, my biggest thing, the biggest thing that annoys me online is people who get overly angry over silly things. Well, that's the Internet. Ca case in point, <laughs> case in point, a few episodes ago. You must just hate the whole Internet. <laughs> yeah. Well, case in point, a few episodes ago, we were making fun of Danzig because we love to make fun of Danzig. In fact, I tweeted out a picture of yeah. earlier today. Uh, <laughs> and uh, tell your children not to uh, not to touch my cake. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I was making fun of Danzy because, well, frankly, the man is past his prime and should probably give it the fuck up. He got so angry because he thought I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. I was like, dude. I know this guy. I could just see him, like, sitting there behind his computer, like, fucking. These motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, trying to wipe the coconut oil off his dick from masturbating to fucking utter porn. And <laughs> he's just like, he's fucking, you know, eating Slim Jims and fucking goldfish, just screaming oh, at the top Casey's of his lungs. <laughs> I just like, I don't know, man. People, it's like, I could just see him sitting there like, oh, no, people are different than me. Oh, Jesus Christ, the world, it's so dark. Well, his basis for his argument was that, oh, I just don't understand that type of music. He's like, motherfucker, I've been listening to Misfits since I was little. <laughs> you know, Danzig is like, 
we're homies, but, but the fact of the matter is the man's like pushing 60. It's time to time to pack it in. Was it you or Gordon that met Danzig at a gas station and they told him to fuck off? Uh, it might have been Gordon. I met him. Uh, yes, coconut is good. <laughs> Words are hard. Coconut oil is good for all the skin, apparently. It's good for on the outside of you, not so much for the inside of you, according to the... Uh, Yes. You know, the American Heart Association is still bad to eat, but. Uh, so when, you know, your stepmother's asking for anal, don't use uh, coconut oil. <laughs> yeah, apparently. But yeah, so uh, I uh, I was at a Danzig show and uh, I ended up meeting him and uh, he was cool with me. Mm -hmm. I asked him to uh, sign a Misfit shirt and he refused to do that, but he didn't do it meanly. He just said, dude, I'm trying to like focus on like now. <laughs> He's like, I'm trying to focus on, you know, fucking up the rest of my career. I don't yeah. need I don't need the shrubbery. <laughs> I was I was disappointed, but I understood. You yeah. don't want to look back at, you know, something you did for just a couple of years in the seventies and eighties and that be the entire defining moment of your career. Huh. Yeah, that's like cocaine for me. Um so it must have been Gordon then. Because uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Gordon told me that he met him at a gas station or something and he asked for a signature and he said fuck off basically. <laughs> well, Which how would you like me. a bunch of fucking randos coming up to you at any given moment? And be like, uh, hey, can you sign my shit? Can uh, I take a picture? I've been through it. It's called waiting tables. <laughs> can you give me this? Can you give me that? Can you fucking shit? Yeah, Jesus well, you know, Christ. I feel bad. You know what? Uh, here's one thing. I'm going to this is not the most popular of opinions because I think a lot of people uh, always say something to the effect of well they're celebrities they knew what they were getting into but you know what man people need to leave celebrities the fuck alone the behavior that people does uh yeah the original misfits do a tour i'd love to see that too actually uh anyway you know just because you're a celebrity all of a sudden you shouldn't have any right to privacy whatsoever that's bullshit the stuff that these paparazzos and shit are doing paparazzos paparazzos the paparazzi That's, that sounds like a new fucking breakfast cereal eat paparazzos yeah i don't know <laughs> when the fuck did we ever stop calling them photographers apparently that's, that's i not don't a thing fucking anyway. know dude but anyway these people uh you know the things that they do for anybody else in the world that'd be considered stalking Oh, yeah, but that's, I know, and that's what I'm saying. Like, it comes out of these, like, free speech press bullshit. And, and and that's, like, you know, the difference between prostituting and making a porn. You break into a house or something, and you see these this man and this woman going at it, all right? It's prostitution, but if there's a camera set up, it's porn. <laughs> like, it's just, and that's why if you're ever getting a hooker, any of you kids out there that are between film the ages of, of 8 and 13, uh, film it. Always have a camera. Don't even have the camera on. <laughs> Just set a camera there. So if you ever get busted for a prostitution, you won't because there's a camera there. It'll be, it'll be labeled as filming. <laughs> it's great. Somehow they'll still get you, I'm sure. No, no, because, you know, I, I usually put, a, you know, cameras in public uh, women's bed, uh, bathrooms and I don't get caught because I'm saying we're filming a pornography. <laughs> then I make the woman sign a release form. And if that doesn't happen, I chloroform their kids after school, and I hold them for ransom. <laughs> so if you want to see all this, you got to hit up his personal Periscope. Yes, my personal Periscope, <laughs> where it's a lot of, you know, uh, coconut oil things, like I said, putting them on nipples, open wounds. And, uh, yeah, sometimes we kill a uh, live beaver on the show. <laughs> it's amazing. Check it out. Actually, I don't even have a Periscope channel. <laughs> Actually, I want to create one soon because I want to play some games. I want to play some games with people. You know, the other day Jimmy was uh, Jimmy was, Jimmy Knapp. He's a friend of a friend of ours from the McNax McNasty Cast. He was out there playing some music, and he had these little clouds floating over his face. It looked pretty cool. But the <laughs> other thing is, I know that our dumbasses, if we started playing music, we'd be the idiots to get busted for a copyright infringement. I know it. <laughs> oh, of course, it it already happened. We showed. We should show a video of a guy eating a taco without tilting his head, and we got fucking flagged for bullshit. Well, that was on YouTube. Yeah, but still, fucking YouTube. Get your shit together. Bathroom stuff is gross. I don't know. Oh. Bathroom stuff kind of turns me on. I don't know. I sort of like it. Like, uh, say say, say you were ever at school. And I don't know about anybody else, but my school didn't have doors on their stalls. Wait, what? So, yeah, you, you never knew that? In, in Southside? Yeah. Our, our bathrooms didn't have doors on the stalls. <laughs> I think I would have had to say something about that. Yeah, I saw my principal taking a shit once. It was weird. I was like, hey, what's up? <laughs> well, hey, hey, say you're sitting there in the bathroom, you know, and a teacher comes in. She sees your dick. She, she uh, you know, likes what she sees. 
She's like, you know, I sort of want that inside me. And, uh, you know, she was hot. And she fucked your brains out while you still, you know, had the shit in your butthole because you didn't wipe yet. I think that's pretty hot. <laughs> Why are we friends? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I'm, I'm just going on with what the chat said. Bathroom shit's gross, but I, 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 I think it can be interesting. It can be interesting. Bathroom shit's gross. Well, <laughs> you know, what other kind of shit is there? Um, I don't know. Music, like emo music. <laughs> emo music shit. I don't know. Some of it was okay back in the day. You can start your own porn website now. I probably could. I know. Uh, I know so many fucked up women. <laughs> like, I'm pretty much the web designer around here, and I refuse. Yeah. I don't want to see this. Your wife would naked. be like, Jay, what are you doing? Be like, honey, give me a second. Let me put my dick back in my pants, and then I'm we'll masturbating have... to Casey. <laughs> yeah. We'll have this conversation later. That's the only reason women like me. I have a huge nose, so they just sit on it. <laughs> no, they just assume you have a large dick until they pull your pants down like, oh. Yeah, they're like, what the fuck is this tater tot in a fucking yarn ball doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, tater tots! Tater tots! Yeah, fuck it, I don't know. I think it'd be cool to start a porn business, but I don't know. It'd get old after a while. Have all these women hanging around all the time bitching about their problems. <laughs> Man. Oh, what am, what am I joking? Women don't bitch. <laughs> yeah, so the chat's quiet tonight. What y'all what y'all see in the news? Quiet. Today? I don't I don't think they're quiet at all. <laughs> well, we got the one troll guy hanging around here. We got uh He he was troll at first, but I think he started uh We we brought him along. We yeah, brought we him brought him along. Side. I don't know if he's still in here because I hate the way Periscope chat works. <laughs> but uh yeah, I think he went from troll to like, hey, this isn't so bad. I'll sit my ass right down in this heated toilet seat. I love Jim and Jim and Nab. <laughs> I like Jimmy Nab too. <laughs> Jimmy Nab's pretty funny too. I'm telling you, man. Jimmy and um, they need to get a hold of McDonald's and have Jimmy a burger. And Bobby. Yeah, need a burger named after him called the McNasty. <laughs> that needs to be something. If not, I'm gonna make it because that should just be something. Yeah, Jimmy and Bobby are good people. Yes, they are, and they have southern uh, southern accents. <laughs> New York. They have New York accents, and that's why I sexually am attracted to them. <laughs> that and the bald head. You're just missing the comments. Yeah, maybe that's it. <sighs> yeah, I can't help it. I don't know. I just hate this chat. I hate Parrot. They, they told us to get a uh, add-on or something that we can use for it, but I haven't really looked into it. And I didn't write it down because I was stupid. <laughs> Go ahead, write that down. Yeah, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll look into it more, and we'll, we'll be more responsive to the chat. And Shane, if you're listening, you should be on Periscope some night and watch us. I know you like listening to the thing, but come in and say hi to us. 8 p.m. Tuesdays. Call us. <laughs> Our number is 570-392-6776. Yeah, Shane, you can even call us. I haven't talked to you in a while, man. I want to see how the wife's doing, how the kids are doing, if uh, your kid's got anyone pregnant yet. Um, wait, they're not that old, I don't think. Kid's like four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how old are, I wonder how old his kids It's been a while. <coughs> <coughs> You know, Jesus the further sorry. I get down to this beer, the less I'm liking it. I know. It gets get kind of kind of a skunky taste after a while. Yeah, it's it's way it gets really hoppier at the end. I don't know about hoppy. I just get like a weird it almost has like you guys ever try pumpkin spiced beer? Ugh. God, the white woman's lust. <laughs> I mean, I can deal with it, but it, it always has that like weird, like spicy finish the, at the end of it. It's kind of got that going on. Yeah, the farther down you get, I don't know if they don't mix this shit up enough, but it's like I don't know. Maybe we should start shaking the beer. What do you think? Yeah, maybe. Opening it on know. camera, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> shooting it all over the place like we won the NBA championship or something like that. <laughs> Could I call? Why would you ask? Just yeah. do it. Just don't be a conspiracy theorist, because that's that freaks Jay out. <laughs> <laughs> we we get a couple of them every now and then. Yeah, but yeah, like I I don't know. And that reminds me, fucking the the season where women, you know, dress all of them dress like Luke Sky or not Luke Skywalker, but Han Solo, and everything's pumpkin spice, and they drink Starbucks. All, well, they do that anyways. But fall's coming up soon, man. We got August. When's fall start? In October. Oh, I don't fucking know. Yeah, we got like a couple of months yet until, you know, all this pumpkin spice. There, There is no rain. fall anymore. What do you mean? It goes, oh, excuse me. It goes directly from summer to uh, Christmas, if you ask Walmart. <laughs> if you they're, ask they're fucking Walmart. Star <laughs> they're fucking starting to set up their Christmas trees already, I bet you. Yeah, probably. Wouldn't surprise me. I don't know. Convenient. Uh, not convenient stores. Department stores are going broke, man. J.C. Penney just closed by our mall. Um, what else closed? Macy's closed by our mall. Gander Mountain. All this shit's closing because of the internet. 
And that's probably what made the Amazon guy the richest man in the world right now. Hey, you know what? While we're while we're talking about that sort of shit and you know, Thanksgiving and all that good good crap, uh, I just read today that uh, not EB Games, who is it now? GameStop. GameStop is going to subject their employees f- this year to being there on Thanksgiving. <laughs> That is fucking lame. Like, for the last few years, they've actually been respectable and said, nope, oh, we're not going to do it. But now they are going to make their employees be there. So I recommend we have an openly hostile boycott of GameStop. <laughs> Who be- even shops at GameStop? That place sucks. I know, but you know what? It, it, it's bullshit. You know what? All you people out there who go shopping on Thanksgiving, oh, we have a just caller. stop. Oh, there, there's Kenny. I bet you it's Kenny. Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Answer the fucking thing. Hold on, I'm turning with... something up, god damn it. Play with the volume <laughs> afterwards. Hey! New phone, who dis? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Is this Kenny? Yeah. What's up, man? How are you doing? What's up, Jay? What's happening, Casey? What's up, man? What's happening, brother? What do you got going I on? I say the beginning of emo was great. When it had a genre, it sucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, a, I'm right there with you, man. Uh, what what would the you? The creation of anything is good. Like the creation of disco is good. Then you add vocals to it, and eventually it stops being good. Yeah, they take anything too far, and it just gets crap. You're right about that. I'll give you the minute stay alive started. Not only did disco begin to suck, all pop music. Yeah, that's true. We we can't. We Except can't. for stuff that crossed over, like Danzig, he crossed over somehow. Yeah, I did. he didn't suck. Yeah, I remember Kiss even made a disco album one time. <laughs> what? I even remember Kiss. They made a disco album one time because it got so popular. No, disco song, not a complete album. If yeah, it was a complete just... album, they were totally sucked afterwards. <laughs> now, you say about emo when it first started. What would you consider emo when it first started? Rights of Spring, Fugazi, Dag Nasty. You follow after that, then anything else sucked. Huh. Fugazi, yeah, I, I always, my friend always listened to them and shit like that. I didn't know they were like. Don't count Rites of Spring only album. After that, they broke up, became what Fugazi was. Oh, okay, yeah, because I, I get that. The ashes of Fugazi. Yeah, because I get that mixed up with like hardcore music. Well, that's what that's what emo is. It's an emotional hardcore. Yeah. Well, Rites of Spring was the only band to do while hardcore existed. Yeah. <laughs> do you listen to hardcore music too? Man, I read that book. American Hardcore. What happened? <laughs> I read the book American Hardcore. Oh, okay. Oh, All right, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, because a lot of my friends listen to hardcore and shit like that, and what they were saying was like uh, Mad Ball, a lot of Mad Ball. I can't f- you, know, I, you know I took away from the book and the whole war? The war now is against capitalism. Mm-hmm. That's the new war. Yeah. You betcha. <laughs> you can't really sing about just the... You, you work against it. I will never participate in capitalism. Mm-hmm. That's my way of fighting it. Yeah. So it's sort of like punk music. It's turning, or what punk music did. Well, hardcore and punk are basically born out of the same. Yeah. The same gene. Pool. But I didn't listen to a lot of punk. Is that what punk a lot hated was Except like? Cap- during punk, there was no actual war. Yeah. <laughs> punk was just there fighting was. against being Heroin. normal. <laughs> uh, just. Just against mainstream society. Yeah, conformism. They're all fighting conformism. While they all had the exact same uh, safety pins and mohawked head. Yes, they made a movie about that. It's called SLC Punk. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That was a good movie. movie? SLC Uh, Punk. Did you ever see that movie? No. It's a good movie. If you you like stuff like that, watch it. It's about punk people and how they're fighting against conformity. But if you think about it, they are conforming. It's a really yeah. good movie. Well, and the other one, too, is the Fall Western Society uh, and all that shit. The, those well, movies I, are great. I, I, I mean, I'm fighting against the conformity of capitalism. If you say, what about classic rock artists and that? I don't hold it against them because I'm a different kind of punk than was fighting that war. Mm-hmm. My punk was the Beatles and Rockabilly and all that. Then I liked hardcore because I like metal, so I am... The punk that those guys eventually liked, like the guys in New York, they eventually liked crossover once it became good. Once mm. a really, once it was part of their scene, they liked it. And you know, they hated it once it showed up on the scene. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I completely agree with you. Like, I used to like metalcore when it first came out, and then it became a genre, and it just went to shit. Hey, what what no, what is uh, music? I like it. Yeah. What, what does metal have in common with an apple? 
It's all good except for the core. <laughs> <laughs> I still like it because I still like metal. Anything that merged with metal, I will like. Mm -hmm. Well, when you're talking about crossover, I'm thinking about uh, DRI and... Uh, you know, shit like Suicidal, man. I'll still listen to the shit out of Suicidal, man. I can't believe they got Dave Lombardo playing drums for him. I saw Suicidal. Oh, you did? Yeah, I saw him at the Metallica Music Fest, Orion Fest, and Robert performed with them. He used to be in their band. Why Robert he? Trujillo. <laughs> Fantastic yeah, Robert got player. up there with them. He wasn't performing with Metallica at that time. Yeah. On the day, he did that at the end of the night. Goddamn. Yeah, and so I guess it's time to hang out with his buddy, with his old buddies, and and jam uh -huh. at the time. Yeah, it was amazing. Huh? I they bet that was all, great. They did all their music. They did the hardcore. They did the non. It's pretty too good time. I liked it. That's cool, man. Well, that sounds fun. sounds like Color's got a pretty good, uh, pretty good idea of music, man. All right, yeah. well, thanks a lot for calling. Bud. Yeah, thanks, we love, Kenny. We love talking talk music with people. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for taking the call, man. No problem. No problem. Keep somebody puts their number up, like, it's a call show. Oh, cool, because I want one one day. <laughs> music and other subjects, because nobody just wants to talk about music. Yeah. Dude, if Periscope, you do want, just, just yeah, start it. start it, man. And if you do, man. Only a few do, because I'm like, well, what else am I going to talk about a bit? We're going to talk about music and you pick the other subject. Yeah, hey, there, you go. there you go. And if you do, man, get at us. We're on Twitter and stuff. We'll promote the shit out of you. We get, like, you know, some viewers, not, like, you know, thousands. Well, I, but I now have the tripod, so the show will be possible soon. All right, man. Let All us right, know. Yeah, let us know. Hit us up on the Twitter. Have we'll a good one, man. Three people. I'm going to put up a music marathon where I just sit there for three hours. <laughs> rock. Hey, all right. That would get an audience. Yeah, fuck yeah, man. All right, well, thanks for calling yeah. in, man. Have a good one, man. Right. See you later, Jay. See you later, Casey. Thanks later, man. See you, man. Yeah, that was cool, man. We love talking music with people. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Dude, my laptop is a piece of shit right now. <laughs> Why would it do? It is, like, completely fucking frozen right now. I don't know what the fuck's going Maybe on. Maybe we didn't freeze at the beginning. Maybe it was just... <laughs> Maybe it was just my laptop. I don't know. I'll just reboot the fucking no, thing. No, but uh, going back on what Kenny I... said here uh, about, you know, everything was good until it got a, a label. I've always thought that, but I've never heard it put that way, and that's exactly how I feel. That's a really good way of putting it, Kenny. Is it's just you know everything once it gets popular it just the money starts coming in things change and everything just, sucks yeah everything just fucking sucks man because because you gotta think like look at look at Metallica their their first what three albums are completely fucking different <laughs> and then and they just change it was oh. nice talking to you too Kenny man good talk good talk yeah we 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 can talk about music forever me and Jay we love it uh, actually where me and Jay live we live out in the country. <laughs> so our musical taste isn't that looked upon, I guess you would say. We're we're uh, we're the odd men out. Yeah, we're the odd men out, and it's like although I like everything. Yeah, so. I do like country though. I like a lot of like Hank Williams and shit like that. That stuff's cool. Actually, Hank Williams the third played here in Williamsport where we live. He played all of his country shit, and then stopped and was like, "All right, for everyone that doesn't like metal." Uh, you can leave because we're going to play all of our death metal. And they played a huge death metal set. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, fucking Hank Williams. is Yeah, but it was like, I wish I could have seen that because that would have been fucking awesome. Yeah, he, he does. Uh, he was. Uh, their new album is really good. Yeah, I agree with you, Kenny. Is Their new album is good. Yeah, I it think... grows on you. It takes a, a first listen. I thought there was a lot of filler. But... I really like the first song. The first song is really good. It's like fucking thrashing and it's like fucking. Yeah, James. Hard wine. Yeah, James is drinking again. I mean, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Anytime he gets out the flying V guitar, you know it's thrash time. Yeah. Well, um, I, I got something fun. I got something fun. Oh, God. You didn't make the titty cake, did you? <laughs> no, we didn't, we didn't do the titty cake. We didn't do the titty cake. My wife's going to make us a titty cake eventually. That'll be fun. Yeah. But uh, it's been a while since we played a game. So uh, you guys up for uh, watching watching me and Casey play a game? Oh, God. This is unexpected. Do we yes. have a punishment? <laughs> uh, we're going we're gonna to play the game, and we're going to play Bean Boozled. Oh, not this shit, man. Come on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're going to play Bean Boozled. For those of you who are unaware, Jelly Belly has this game called Bean Boozled. And you could possibly get... A jelly bean that is buttered popcorn flavor or a rotten egg. Or it might be lime or lawn clippings. So we really don't know what we're going to get. Or it might be coffee or Casey's self-depression. <laughs> Peach or barf. 
So we're gonna go ahead and play a nice game of Bean Boozled. See, I don't, I don't mind this shit because you know I've eaten pussy from hookers that taste worse than some of this shit. But I hate the fucking sour milk. Man. Oh, that's the worst the one. The sour milk fucking makes me want to fucking like, oh, jeez, cut my dick off and shove it down an elf's neck. Ugh. <laughs> All right. So what we're gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna play. We're gonna play. Would you rather? Ugh. And the way this works is we got an app. Would you rather? And uh, we're going to decide together which one we'd rather do. If our answer goes along with the majority of folks, then we get to uh, pass on the beans. If our answer is different than the one that, uh, you know, if we're wrong, basically, then we have to spin this and take our chance with the beans. So our first question, would you rather never leave your city or never return to your city? Oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> I'm going to go with, uh, I think I'd rather never return to your city because there's much more fun things to do than here. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. I don't know. <laughs> that's such a tough one for me because I really like where I live right now. Oh, man. I, I would pick that I would, uh, I could go to any city. All right. I so would, I would leave my city. Go and never return. All right. Yeah. I concur. All right, so we're going to do this. Never return to your city. Ooh, we scraped by, but it was barely. It's 53 to 47. Oh, never return? Never return. Never return, all right. Never return. We're good. We're yeah, good. Kenny won two. Kenny won two. Never return. a boy, Kenny. Kenny, if you don't have beans or something, just find something under the sink to drink. That's what we, me and Jay do when we're out of beans. Or lick, <laughs> lick your cat's butthole. Yeah, just do stuff. Or brush your teeth with bleach. <laughs> we got we to gotta skip that one. That's lame. I know. Some of them are lame. Yeah, these people, th these are like, Crowdsourced. Crowdsourced. Like, oh, who gives a shit? Hang on. We got to find some good ones. <laughs> Where's the question? Would you rather have transvestites in the military or not in the military? <laughs> Would you rather be a superhero or have Christmas that never ends? Fucking superhero. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm with you, superhero. 70 to 30. Yeah, I'm I was going to say. Close. Fucking Christmas is annoying. And I don't, I'm not rich, so I don't have the money all the time to buy everyone fucking presents. <laughs> would you rather have a third arm or would you rather have a third leg? Well, since my dick is huge, I already have a third leg. <laughs> How did I know you were going to say that? Uh, I have Jesus beer. Christ, Kenny says, man. yeah, make it into a drinking game. Um, I, I say three arms because can you imagine the sex you would have with three arms? <laughs> like, Yeah, the three leg thing just seems like it would get in the yeah, way. Yeah, it'd be annoying. It'd be like a potato sack race your whole life. Like, fuck that, dude. <laughs> All right, so I, I agree with you. Have a third arm. Man, we're killing it today. Yeah, 75 yeah, to man. 25. Yeah, third arm's the best. All right, I would you rather that. travel to the year 1950 or travel to the year 2050? 2050. I want to see what's up. No, 1950 because you could beat women back then. <laughs> is that your final answer no so no, the future the future future oh dude we're killing it today future fucking ads fuck your ads would you oh that's lame piss off piss off you bloody cunt <laughs> god i wish i was Scottish. Ooh, this is a good one it's existential crisis would you rather always lose in every game you play or not be able to play any games not play any games what the fuck is the use of playing games if you can't win? I agree. Uh -oh. Like that's like having a sex with no orgasm. What the fuck's the point? Uh oh. How did we lose that? Sixty-one to thirty-nine. We how? Lost. Did, how? Why know. the fuck would you want to play a game if you can't win? Do you want the honors of spinning the bean boozle? <sighs> fucking pieces of shit. If you spin sour <laughs> milk, I'm gonna kill you. Uh, juicy pear or booger? All right, so that's the green one, right? I'm spinning. You're getting the shit out. <laughs> There's a, what, uh, the, the fucking green ones that you can see through, or the green they ones sort of look solid. like a booger actually. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah. All right, here's one. And if I remember correctly, if you get booger, it just fucking tastes like um, what's it called? Like basement. <laughs> I remember it. No, that was like... that. That was the stinky socks. Oh, okay. I remember one of these tasting like a basement that hasn't been like cleaned in like 15 years. I don't. I don't know. I don't understand that. I don't understand why you want to play a game if you can't win at it. Like, are people that bored with their lives? <laughs> are you sure this is the one? Yeah, I think so. I don't. It doesn't Give look. Give it right. a shot. All right. So it's either booger or juicy pear. Yeah, I got booger. I'm 
I think it's pear. Ugh. I got pear. No, this is the one that tastes like basement. Yeah, this is it. Ugh. No, I got pear. That's definitely pear. You fucking lucky prick. <laughs> it was your idea to play this fucking game, and how do you get juicy pear? Yeah, well, we didn't get the fucking sour milk bullshit See, this yet. doesn't taste like booger. It tastes like I fucked a dandelion. Ugh. <laughs> All right, next question. Ugh, I don't like it. Would you rather be forgotten or be remembered as a bad person? Forgotten. Forgotten. I'm already forgotten. 6733. I don't know my dad, so I was already forgotten. <laughs> Would you rather give bad advice or receive bad advice? Um, Before you jump on that one, remember now, if you're giving advice to somebody, it's somebody who obviously trusts you. So it's somebody you care for. Yeah. But if you receive bad advice, you might do something really stupid. I don't know. Would you rather kiss Alex or suck Terry's dick? <laughs> God, Chelsea, you're fucked up. <laughs> you're not allowed to play. <laughs> uh, you know, I think I'd rather receive bad advice and do something stupid than harm somebody else. That's my logic. Um, my whole life is bad advice, so I would go with receiving bad advice. All right, so bad advice. Yeah. 5941. We're doing really good today. Yes, we are. Would, you rather, beans. would you rather know it all or have it all? That's kind of vague. Yeah, that is kind of vague. Have what all? It? What is it? I don't know. The movie It? Which the trailer is out, by the way. <laughs> Pussies. What would you do, Chelsea? You with the question, what would you do? <laughs> uh, I would go with... I love to learn things, so I guess I'd go with know it all. I'd say have it all. Because if you have it all, you don't need to know it all. You pay people to know it all. All right, one of us is going down. <laughs> and it's me. Uh, yes. All right. <laughs> I get tutti fruity Or stinky socks. All right. What do I get here? Oh, you get stinky socks, you fucking cunt. <laughs> See, Chelsea, you can't do it either. You would kill yourself. I'd do the same fucking thing, man. <laughs> I really don't know what Tutti Fruity is supposed to taste like. So Does it taste like dirty socks? No. Okay, then you're good. <laughs> what it tastes like isn't that great, though. <laughs> God, you keep getting lucky, you fucking cunt. Yeah, well, normally I'm the one that gets pounded with sour milk. Oh, yeah, sour you get milk. pounded, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Here's my sound. <laughs> there we go. Uh, No, fuck that one. That's stupid. Yeah, this this app sucks today. <laughs> people, the fuck? Fuck people aren't here. depressed enough to get on here. I know. It's supposed to be the adult one. Oh, the adult one? Are yeah. you kidding me? Jesus Christ. I want inappropriate. Oh, no. Oops, I just reported that. Yeah, we need a question like, would you rather fuck your mother or your sister? <laughs> That's a tough one right All there. Right, would I don't you know. <laughs> Here's one you can already answer. Would you rather be born with an elephant nose or born with a neck of a giraffe? Uh, I already have a big nose. <laughs> well, we'll say, uh, we'll say elephant nose because you could probably do sexual things with it. A, a huge neck like a giraffe. You could maybe look in, you know, girls, you know, bathrooms or something and, you know, maybe catch a cooter pie. I agree, but we lost. What? Who in the fuck would want a giraffe neck? Like, why? What would you do with it? Like, would you like rest your wet towel on it after a shower? Like, why? Spin the fucking thing and let's see. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Strawberry, banana smoothie, or dead fish? Those oh. the colors. Oh, this one's pretty bad. Oh, Hold on. yeah. Hang on. It's one of these. Right? I forgot about this one. Dead fish is pretty bad. Yeah. Ugh. I hate this one. Smelling them doesn't give it away. <laughs> I didn't get it. Yay! <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> Oh God! The dead fish one's bad. Like it's it's fucking bad. It's Dude, like I like sardines, but that's like sardine over. Yeah, cream. like it tastes like <laughs> pussy. That's like a girl got lost in a desert for like forty five years, and she oh. hasn't showered. And you first, you know, lick that pussy for the first time, and it fucking oh. Oh my God, that is <laughs> god awful. I love. I love Kenny's reason why he'd want a giraffe's neck. He could see really far. <laughs> what? I'm pretty sure Kenny's high. <laughs> I, I guess What's you... up, gentlemen? We are playing a stupid game, so let me catch you up here there, Hellsfire. 
We are playing a game of Would You Rather. If we agree with the hive mind here, we do not have to take a bean boozled god awful jelly bean. If we do not agree with the hive mind, we have to take a jelly bean and try our luck. Yes. How are you fine, gentlemen, this evening? I just ate a je dead fish flavored jelly bean, so I am not doing that well. <laughs> We're Let's doing. move on here. Oh, my God. Fuck ads. Get out of here. Huh. Okay. So, all right. We got a, no, a little buzz. That'll work, too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> would you rather live 10 lives in 100 years or live a life of 1,000 years? Whoa, 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 whoa. So, you would live 10 short lives. 10 short lives or a long life. Yeah. Short lives. Because you could, like, have different ones. You could be a playboy. You could be a fucking rich person. You could be... Well, I agree with you on one aspect, but I'm also terrified to die. So I think, um, yeah, that's true. You would die ten times. I I didn't even think of that. I'm terrified of dying, so I think I'd go for the long life. Although on the other hand, though, you'd hit, watch everybody you love die. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Now, it's not ten years, Kenny. It's ten <laughs> lives in a hundred years, <coughs> or live or a thousand one life years. for a thousand years. There's 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 no question that can make you see farther. <laughs> that just cracked me up. <laughs> like I didn't even think of that. You're like, yeah, but you could see farther. And I was like, oh. My son just ran out of his room yelling out poopy butthole. Oh, nice. All right. Well, that invalidates our questions. Nothing else matters. <laughs> that All sounds right. like something from Morty or uh, Rick and Morty. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mr. Poopy Butthole. Mr. Poopy Butthole. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go with uh, Live a Life of a Thousand Years. You doing the 10 Yeah, I'm doing the 10 ones because you can keep getting chances. Uh, I won, you lost. What? Why would you want to live a thousand fucking years? You know what your dick would look like after a thousand years? Quit bitching and spin the buzz. God, it looked like a sausage on the grill too long. <laughs> what am I doing opening this? We got some right here. Please, no dead milk. Fucking shit. Coconut or spoiled milk? I fucking The worst it. one. I better get coconut or I'm cutting your dick off. I hate this one. I fucking hate this one. You can't tell from I think it, <laughs> I think that one was sour milk. You can't tell from smelling. I don't know. I can't tell if it's the, the, the jelly bean I'm smoking or my finger. <laughs> Hell's Fire says you'd become a transgender. Yeah, I probably would. <laughs> I probably would. You missed the Hellfire. We were making fun of transgenders so I, bad earlier. Just fucking eat the oh, damn fuck bean. you. Oh, I hate this one. Oh, it's milk! <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> oh, it's the worst one. It's so bad. And it lingers. I will. How bad this shit lingers. I will wake up tomorrow after I brush my teeth and use mouthwash. I will still taste this fucking thing. Oh, it oh. ruins my whole day. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled this oh. one. See, Casey didn't know we were going to play this today. I just hate this. The, the spoiled milk is the worst. You would suck your own dick every night. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I probably would. I'm a very horny person, like very horny person. Like I watch so much porn. When I put a hot dog in the microwave, I spit on it before I put it in. That's why your <laughs> fucking hands are all shaved. Yeah. Hey, hey, there's nothing like draining an old sack, you know? Oh, man, this is horrible. I got it. Like, I, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find a good one. Oh. Okay. Would you rather be a fish from the waist? <coughs> Fuck you. You all right? Yeah. I hate that one. Would you rather be a fish from the waist up or be a fish from the waist down? Waist up. I ain't getting my... I'm, I miss my dick. I miss hockey, damn it. I know, I do too. Go Penguins! Back-to-back -back champions! <laughs> Dude, I'm doing fish. I, I, I'm waist down. I'm going merman style. Why? You'd miss your dick, man. I don't know. All right, whatever. I don't have the logic I'm going this. up. I'm going up. Spin, bitch! What? 72 to 28. Why would you want to be a merman? That's gay. <laughs> I don't know, because I watched mer I, I watched uh, The Little little Mermaid when I was a kid. And, you would uh, have no dick. Why would you not want a dick, man? God, people are messed up. Fish have, like, cloacas, don't they? What the fuck is a cloaca? Is that a fucking it's Shakira a, album? <laughs> it's a tube that you use to shit, piss, and have sex <sighs> through. Fucking shit. Oh. Don't even fucking talk to me. <laughs> Don't talk to me ever again. This is bullshit. Hand out, bitch. <sighs> Milk? 
If I puke, I'm doing it on you. I'm not even joking. <laughs> you can fuck mermaids. I agree, Kenny. You can fuck mermaids. What's up, Epic? Oh, man. What's new? We're playing a game. We're playing Would You Rather with the punishment being bean boozled in case he's about to eat either a coconut or a spoiled milk. I just had a spoiled milk. Is this a spoiled milk and I puke? <laughs> I am doing it all over Jay. And then I'm going to kidnap his wife and make her have sex with him and like, vomit all over him. <laughs> oh, God, I hate it's this just one. Dark. I, I'm pretty sure this is spoiled milk, too. I know it's going to be. Yeah, there's only like two like coconuts in the whole fucking oh. bitch. <laughs> Oh, my God. Is it another spoiled? I can't do this. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> there is no giving up. I hate this one. Oh. It is. It's to it <laughs> what? Okay, well, this was obviously submitted by British people. And we're out of beer. <laughs> no, I got nothing. Yeah, I got a sip there. You can take Ugh, it. Jesus Christ. I will I will. Re I will. I uh, uh, surrender my sip for the, 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 the spoiled milk. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Okay, would you rather run 100 kilometers per hour or fly 5 kilometers per hour? Whoa, whoa, say that again. I was too busy trying not to puke. <laughs> yeah, this was obviously submitted by British people. Would you rather run 100 kilometers per hour or fly 5 kilometers per hour? Fly, man. I'm with Kenny. I'm flying. You know why I could fly, Kenny? You know it, so I could see farther. <laughs> 54. 54. But you know what? We won, but just barely. <coughs> oh really that's weird i don't know why would you run i know me too kenny fly we can see farther imagine flying like that with the giraffe neck imagine how fucking far you could see kenny we're taking over the world <laughs> that one doesn't even make any fucking sense hang on here hell's fire would fly would you rather keep a dragon or be a dragon oh man what's a what's a dragon's dick look like <laughs> you know, I'm starting to think you have a fascination with dick. I like my dick, man. It I, treats me good. Dude, I would rather have a pet dragon. <sighs> man. Like, I don't think I'd want to be a dragon. Be a, being a dragon doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun. Yeah, you know, no one would understand me because the thing is, is could you talk? I like, want to I want to ride a dragon. Yeah. Tell I, me riding a dragon is not a motherfucking yeah, goal in life. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It would be weird if if you could talk, it would be completely different. Because, I don't know, you could at least... Would the dragon be hostile? They didn't specify. I'm going to assume if you're keeping it, it's probably a pet. Therefore, it's probably yeah. dust. I don't know. I really like Game of Thrones. So I've been watching that a lot lately. And those dragons look badass, but it doesn't really look fun being one. So I would say owning one. Yeah, I, I, I'm down with that. I want to ride a bit. Ride a motherfucking dragon. Yeah, how about... 58 to 42. We win. All right, sweet. Woo woo! Okay, finally, we're getting some adult questions. <laughs> Would you rather feel sexually attracted to a fruit or have fingers stained with risquitos forever? I assume that means Cheetos. <laughs> yeah, what are Risquitos? I'm like, assuming it's some ge generic fucking knockoff brand of Cheetos. Risquitos? What the fuck is that? Is that when you risk taking a Cheeto? I guess. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. So, feel sexually attracted to fruit or have Cheeto stained fingers at all times. I'm going, I, I'd fuck Sexually, me a watermelon. Yeah, fuck it. I, you know, the, the best orgasm you ever have without a woman is heating up a watermelon in the oven and drilling a hole in it. Ken, so Kenny, <laughs> Kenny makes a good point, though. He said you could breathe fire if yeah. you're a dragon. But, but still, okay, so uh, what do we think, guys? Let, let's see here. I, I'm going, uh, I'd fuck a mango. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'd be sexually attracted. Che cheesy fingers, that, that's annoying. And yeah, I, play, I don't think I'd want to do I'm on a computer a lot. You'd have to constantly clean your fucking... All right, so we're going to be sexually attracted to fruit. Woo! 66 to 34. It, it would be cool to have, like, the cheetah fingers. You could, you could, like, fuck with a girl's butthole, make it cheesy all the time. That'd be cool. All right, this is a good one. <laughs> this is a good one for you. Would you rather be a millionaire or live in a world where there are Pokemon? Oh. I'm going I millionaire. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> in a world where I could be a millionaire or in a world where I could be the very best. The best there ever was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's a tough one, man. I'm going to go Dude. millionaire because you could genetically engineer Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> Would you rather fuck Miley Cyrus or Selena Gomez, but one's got the clap and the other has crabs? I'd fuck Selena Gomez with the crabs because Miley Cyrus would... She would be the kind who would keep calling. I'm not sexually attracted to Miley Cyrus. I think she looks like a foot. She's gross. Like, yeah, she's fucking gross. 
So it, I'm not real attracted to Selena Gomez either, but at least she doesn't seem like the kind who would keep calling. Yeah, afterwards. but here's the thing: like Selena Gomez, I don't know if I could fuck her because like Justin Bieber was in that, and I don't think I can. And be... she still looks like she's 12, uh, which makes it weird. Well, that's a turn on for me. But anyways, <laughs> all right then. They're young enough to crawl. At least they're in the right position. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> Millionaire or Pokemon? Decide. Oh, man. That's a tough one, man. Can you imagine having a pet Pikachu? <laughs> dude, it would, it would constantly zap you. It would be like uh, constantly no, dude. sticking your finger did in you a light see, socket. Did you see how nice Ash's Pikachu was? Yeah, it constantly zapped him. Did you not, did you not watch the show? No, it zapped Team Rocket. No, it would zap <laughs> Ash all the time, too. I say... Did you just fart? I did. <laughs> I was like, I was like, why is the house rumbling? JJ, that was a bad fart, man. Um, I've had gas all day. Ah, man, that's a tough one. I'm going millionaire. Yeah, I'm, I'm going, going millionaire I'm going too. Millionaire. It'd be cool to have fucking Pokemon, but I can poke your mom. So sixty-six <laughs> percent to thirty-four for millionaire. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ooh, would you rather be able to speak any language fluently, or be able to speak with animals? Speak with animals. Fuck yeah, I don't like people. People suck. <laughs> like You know I, what? I I'm going to speak any language. We're gonna we're gonna disagree here. The, See what happens. Uh I I I gotta spin. Uh, so I hope you get spoiled milk, you fucking faggot. <laughs> I get peach or barf. Uh have fun with that one. Is that this one? I don't know. Let like, me see here. It's one with red dots. Yeah, that looks like it. All right. It looks like it. I can't tell from the smell. I don't know. The strawberry and the uh barf ones look uh somewhat the no, same. No, this is peach. No, it is. How do you keep getting lucky, you fucking ass? Dude, I always get fucked on this game. It's yeah, once. Time. You got one bad one. No. <laughs> you yeah, didn't... the last three times we played, I just get de decimated. It's that, it's that fucking tinfoil hat he's wearing. Yeah. <laughs> it's protecting my brainwaves. Jesus Christ, man. Casey will cut his dick off and call himself Snow White. All right, then. <laughs> God, Hellfire, what are you into? I want to I wanna party with you some night. Well, <laughs> well, here's the thing. Would you rather have a vagina in the front or a row of penises on your back? What? Give me the vagina. And I'll tell yeah. you why. Because then I'll never have to buy another drink at a bar again. <laughs> I know, exactly. I'd be like, I'd have my fucking titties out and they'd be all plump and juicy. and be like, oh, I forgot my purse and my car and all these men. Hang on. Epic says, would you rather cut your ball or suck venom out of Casey's cock? Dude, I already got my balls cut. Yeah. I got a vasectomy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so vagina in the front, row of is in the back. I'm saying vagina. Yeah, vagina. It'd be weird to have a moist gap, you know, between your legs all the time, but whatever. 60, I ain't having... Yeah, we, we won by it. A... Right. Oh, here's a good one. Would you rather have a bionic arm or a bionic leg? I'm going to go with arm. <sighs> yeah. Well, cause, well, yeah, well, yeah, what could you do with your leg, man? Like... Although there is a YouTube video of a guy with a bionic arm who... Uh, Ended up like in this crazy masturbation, masturbatory. Type <laughs> I know that, that. That's the thing. If you had a robotic arm, you were gonna, you're gonna have to be careful. You rip your dick off. Yeah, you're gonna rip your fucking dick off. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm still going arm. Yeah, I don't know arm. what I'd do with a robotic. Leg. I know you, what you could beat that bolt guy that runs. <laughs> like, who cares? Insane yeah, bolt. Yeah, we yeah. won that one too. Bionic cock. Good point. Good point. Epic. Uh, would you rather only be able to communicate in whispers or only be able to speak loudly? Ooh. I'm going whispers. I wouldn't want to be obnoxious. Yeah, whispers. I wouldn't want to be loud any. Hell's Fire almost had to have a bionic leg. Like, bionic, like, tied in your nerves and shit, bionic? That's crazy. Yeah, I'd, I'd uh... Yeah, I'm going whispers. Yeah, whispers, because want... no one would hang out with you. You'd be like, hey! <laughs> like, oh, hey! <laughs> How the hell are you? Yeah, you couldn't go to libraries. <laughs> Could you imagine people I tell... like the Harry Potter book! <laughs> hey! I gotta tell you a secret! My butt really edges! <laughs> yeah, you couldn't... Yeah, talk Your stuff. neighbors officially think we're insane. Oh, that's all right. My all right. neighbors are insane, so... It was 55 to 45. Would you rather eat pussy or fuck it? You can only pick one. Fuck it. I'm not gonna, you know, if I can, <laughs> fuck her. As long as I got mine. Oh Jesus Christ. Uh, would you rather lose an arm and a foot or lose a leg and a hand? Ooh. Oh, an arm. Arm and a foot. And a foot. Or a leg and a hand. Yeah, but that doesn't make any sense because if you lost your leg, you'd lose your foot. <laughs> so that doesn't make any sense. Next question. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
just just take it as it is. <laughs> oh, you can't. An do arm, that. an arm, and a arm and a hand and a foot. Or would you rather lose a leg and a foot and a hand? You lose both ways because you lose an arm, you're gonna lose a hand. Next question, yeah, I really can't. <laughs> Next question. It doesn't make any sense. You're right. <laughs> oh, that's gay. <laughs> This gay. app sucks. Gay, gay, gay. <laughs> Would you rather have a personal chef or personal masseuse? Personal chef or personal masseuse? Does the masseuse give happy endings? That's a, <laughs> that's a good question. Because if so, I'd say masseuse. I can cook my own fucking food. It ain't no problem, but I can't massage See my the, own back. Okay, remember, remember, we got we get we keep getting caught on this shit. It's not about what we think. It's about what these I people know. think. I know, but and remember, I'm... you and I have cooked for years professionally. That's true. That's true. Oh, so we are both professionals. We yeah. know how to do stuff most people don't. Yeah, but I still think people are going to masseuse because people are lazy. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I think it's masseuse. Oh, oh, we lost, didn't we? Fifty-nine to forty-one. Why in the fuck? Why? How? Who, who are these fucking people? Answer these questions. You can't fucking cook. Apparently, they're uh, they're the ones who keep us in business. Spin the thing. <sighs> Tutti fruity or stinky socks? Which one's that? Okay, so this is the two. This has blue in it. It has blue, red. There's blue. Would you rather have doctor finger in your ass or your lady's finger? I don't understand. <laughs> a doctor or your lady's finger in the ass? Either way, you're getting a finger in the ass. That doesn't matter. Girls. Whichever one them. milks the prostate better, I'll tell you what. <laughs> hey, dude, don't knock a finger in the ass at the mm. right place at the right mm. time. I got the fruity one. Oh. So did I. Um, oh, wait. No, I didn't. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you make it fruity at first and then taste like socks? I hate you. <laughs> Ugh. Jesus oh, Christ. That's gay. Ugh. It started out fruity first, man. Ugh. That fucked one would have been cool, but they fucked up on the second Ugh. question. The question was, would you rather have... I don't want to do my fucking laundry for some reason. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> uh, the, the question, this was one would have been super cool had they just followed through. It was, would you rather have a magic carpet? Carpet or take Cinderella to a dance? Who gives a fuck about Cinderella? Like, if if I could fuck rather... Cinderella. <laughs> That's if, the important question. If the question was, could you, you would you rather have a magic carpet or like a super fast plane, which would you take? You know, yeah. that, that'd be a good question. So so what is it again? Let, let's do it. Would you have a, rather have a magic carpet or if you could fuck well, we Cinderella? We can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> magic carpet. Yeah, magic carpet. Fuck Cinderella. Seventy six, twenty four. Everybody okay. else would rather. If you could fuck or... Cinderella, that'd be a different story. That bitch got some body karate. She may be some slave bitch, but you know that pussy probably still smells good. <laughs> Cause she lived in a mansion and it's around good smelling soap and potpourri. So, <laughs> oh, man, we uh, let's just do a couple more. We're running out of time, I guess. We'll do a couple more. And if I get sour milk, I'm cutting Jay's dick off. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather? Be able to talk only by asking questions or only talk by quoting phrases from movies. Quoting phrases yeah, from movies. Yeah, me and Jay already now. do that. Me and Jay already fucking Three quarters of our dialogue is that. <laughs> I know. What is it? Yeah, we, we're, we're we won. 69. Uh, 69. <laughs> fight a, would you rather fight with a shark only with your arms or fight with a bear only with your hands? What? Uh, either way, you're your animal poop. Um, wait, 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 wait. Say that again. Would you Say rather that. fight a shark only with your arms, or okay. fight a bear only with your hands? I'm gonna go. Uh, all right. I'd say bear with hands because here's the thing. Okay, I've thought about this numerous times because right now we have of a bear. Of course you did. <laughs> yeah. Well, right now we have a bear in my backyard. A bear's been you know eating neighbors' pussies. I mean trash. Everything, all right. He's wear he's wearing a leather harness. He has nipple rings. It's not pretty. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. I'm like, hey, bear. <laughs> but I've always thought about this. Jesus Christ. And I, I would pick hands with a bear because how I would hurt an animal if it was attacking me is I'd put my fingers through its eyes, okay, and try to shove them as far as I could back in there to maybe hit the brain or something. But with your arms fighting a shark, you couldn't really do that. So I'd say hands with a bear. Well, I'm going to go with shark because I've seen enough Shark Week on Discovery Channel that, that to tell me that if you hit them in the nose, yeah. they tend to go away. Sometimes. And another reason why I'm not picking shark is, is because you're in their turf. 
when you're fighting a shark, you're in their turf water, at well, least if on land. If you're on land, you're in a bear's turf. What's in the, yeah, but you have more of an advantage because, you you know, you walk better than you swim. So, you know what I mean? All right, well, we're going to disagree on this one. Uh-oh. 37 for me, 63 for you. Why would you... Dude, do you imagine what you would look like fighting a shark with just arms? <laughs> like, Jesus fucking this Christ. This is a strawberry and a tutti fruity. A strawberry, banana, smoothie, and dead fish. So, what's that? This one? The strawberry, dead fish. Is that that one? I think it's the... The solid color one. Is there a solid color one? Like, I don't know. Hold on. Let me see this shit. These things... Fucking Jelly Belly, you gotta fucking label your shit better because it fucking sucks. Which one did I get? No, Strawberry it, smoothie or it, dead fish? It, it's me. I am the one that has to eat it. Oh, yeah. I will. Oh, okay. All right. You yeah, I was won. Gonna, I oh, lost. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let me look at this shit. Strawberry smoothie or dead fish? Right? Was it that yeah, one? Yeah. Okay. I think it's this one. Please, God, not the dead fish. <laughs> dead fish is pretty bad. I'd say it's the next step below the dead milk one. <coughs> Jeez. What'd you get? Did you get dead fish? Yeah. Good, you fucker. You deserve it. <laughs> That's for making me get two sour milks in the fucking same time. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that one's at least number... That's the second be- second worst. Yeah, it is. It is. Dead fish is pretty oh. fucking bad. <laughs> Especially because <laughs> I... <laughs> you almost made me gag. <laughs> you, almost, you almost made me gag. Like, I was like, am I going to do it? Am I going to do it? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. oh, payback, you fucking cunt. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. All right. I'm okay. All right. I'm pretty sure that's the last one, though. We're running out of time. That was pretty funny. Let's do it. Let's do one more. All right. One. Jay wants one to do one more. more. Jay wants to do one more. Okay. We'll do uh, one more. This is gay. You Come could on. do it. Put your back into it. <laughs> if we do another one, though, and I lose and I get sour milk, I'm fucking. I'm drugging you and raping you and filming it and putting it on Reddit. Because <laughs> I hate that shit. God damn. <laughs> hey, I'm should... trying to find a good one. We're going to end this on a high note. Going to end it on a high note? <laughs> oh, that's stupid. There's probably a lot of stupid ones in there. Yeah, there are. This is fun, though. I, I do like doing this game. I just hate the sour <laughs> milk shit. You know, this one sounds pretty funny. Okay. Would you rather always have to laugh hard when you write ha ha in chat? Or would you rather always have to imitate the emoticons that you type with your face? Wait, read the second one again. If you would send an emoticon, you'd have to imitate it with your face. Or if they send an emoticon. It says always imitate the emoticons with your face. Um, I like emoticons, so I would do the ha-ha thing because I just wouldn't say ha anymore. I'd do LOL. Holla at you, boy. Ha-ha-ha-ha. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. What is it? Fifty six forty four, but let's do one more anyway. Who lost? Oh, we neither one of us did. No, oh. let's just do it anyway. Canned food or dog? Can can dog? Food? Oh, we're just doing it for fun now. Yeah. What you think? You think you're my dad? <laughs> you can tell me what to do? Ch- chocolate pudding <laughs> or canned dog food? Let's just try. Oh, I pudding. wanted to end on a high note. Dog food just tastes like if anyone was ever a vegetarian, it tastes like, it t- it tastes like an Alpo burger or whatever the fuck those things are called. It tastes like an Alpel or. Uh, Tastes like Hormel, Hormel uh, beef stew. I got chocolate pudding. Right? Mm. Yeah, me too. Mm. Mm, nom, nom, nom. <laughs> All right, everybody. That was uh, Would You Rather. This is always fun, although we didn't lose nearly as bad this time around. Yeah, before, like, the one time. I remember the first time I ever tried sour milk. I was this close to Merlin. Like, it was it was going to be fucking bad. <laughs> like, it was really bad. Actually, the bean boozled ain't too bad. We've had some pretty bad punishments in here over the years. Uh, you guys definitely are going to want to, like, go back through our... Uh, sour milk or, or eating your cum out of a lady's pussy. Yeah, whatever. It's mine. I don't yeah, know. it's mine. I put it back in my body. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, whatever. That shit don't That sour me. milk's that bad, dude. I'd have to think about that, actually. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd take a load. I'd take a load over that. Yeah, man. I'd just pretend it's clam chowder. Yeah. <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, definitely go check out our uh, archives on YouTube. We've played this game a few times. We had this, like... The last time we played, I think we played it with that soybean drink thing. That yeah, was we awful. were... Uh, where is that? It's back here, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we had this malted... Oh, we had to get rid of the bottle because it stunk really bad. Oh, yeah, we had like this fucking... It was soy. 
and it was so bad we were taking shots Soy of it. Soy beverage. Yeah, so we, we play games every once in a while. Uh, Jay didn't tell me because he's an asshole that we were playing one today. <laughs> but because, uh, like, right after the show, I'm going to put my finger, fingers down my throat and puke in his butthole. The other but, one we did uh, was was Malta Goya. That yeah, was Malta Goya one. was fucking bad. Malta Goya. I don't know. Apparently in Latin America, this is a popular beverage. I don't know how. Yeah, it tasted like it shit. It tastes like liquid bran flakes. Yeah, and I remember, like, it does something to your insides because me and Jay were shitting for, like, three weeks straight. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, thanks again for Kenny for calling in, man. Yeah, um, I appreciate it. Like we said, if you ever start your show or something like that on yeah, Periscope, yeah. let us know. We'll we'll promote the fuck out of you. Seems like you know you really like music. You know what you're talking about. Yeah, hit hit us up on the twatter. All right, uh, plugs. We need plugs. Uh, first off, butt plugs. Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, go to openlyhostileopinions.com. You can uh, go there. You can see our YouTube videos. You can subscribe to our podcast there. You can also click the merch link to purchase some of these lovely shirts, like our uh, "Damn It Donald" shirt, for example. You know, you, you, you can't say thanks, Obama, anymore, so you can say, damn it, Donald. <laughs> and uh, you can commemorate that with this particular shirt. Uh, make sure you subscribe to us on Twitter, Google+, Facebook, and uh, obviously, friend us on Periscope. All right, we'll talk to you all next week. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good one. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. <laughs>